Here comes Legato del Fantasma. High-flying superstars who are all business. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing Legato del Fantasma from Cordoba, Veracruz, Mexico, weighing in at 190 pounds. Cruz del Toro! Del Toro, Escobar, and Wild at one point ruled over NXT with an iron fist. Yeah, but they have only grown in power since invading the main roster. And guys, it's time to pay respect to Legato. Or they'll take the respect by any means necessary. The modern day Maharaja. And his opponent from Punjab, India, weighing in at 238 pounds. The modern day Maharaja, Jinder Mahal. Jinder Mahal, always one of the most serious competitors in WWE. Truly no nonsense. Not serious, more like angry. Certainly can be vicious at times. Listen, Jinder simply wants what he believes he deserves. And the modern-day Maharaja knows how good he is. Jinder Mahal is, of course, the man who calls himself the modern-day Maharaja, a superstar who is determined to see his name in lights and surround himself with fortune and glory. Jinder doesn't call himself that, Cole. He is the modern-day Maharaja. Show some respect. Jinder's a self-made man who's worked hard to craft himself into the ideal superstar. Anything Jinder has won, he has richly deserved. So you say, Corey, but everyone who Jinder ever used as a stepping stone or who he's cheated probably sees it differently. His opponent is someone who really has a big opportunity in front of him tonight. Very true. Del Toro primarily known as a team competitor, but he didn't land on Legato Del Fantasma's radar for nothing. He's got pretty much all the tools you need for in-ring success. All he's lacked, I would argue, is the spotlight to himself. Trying to find his bearings, but it looks like his end is near. Rope step, incredible plancha. Just a devil may care attitude on full display. Going for broke and it pays off. Standing shooting star press, incredible. Knees up, got the knees up at the last second. Oh man. Position here. Oh, the throat. Grabs the leg. Look at this. He just tossed the leg. Ah, uh, heel hook. Look at this. Oh, that's so painful. It's hard to watch, too. Oh, tossed aside. Brutal stomp to the body and followed up by another to the chest. Oh, stomping away. And El Toro didn't like that one showing up in the spotlight. That was such a regal attack from the modern day Maharaja. And Corey, you've got Cruz Del Toro primarily attacking Superstar on his own. Does that present a problem for Del Toro? I think it might, Cole. Del Toro's early years in NXT were marked by his inability to climb up the card by himself. 
If he doesn't lean on the ruthlessness he learned in Legato Del Fantasma, he might be in for a long night. Coast to coast! Del Toro hooks the leg. Fisherman driver. Del Toro putting all those tools to good use. Really making the most of his opportunity. He can end it here. He's got him. One. Digging deep for a kick out. Obviously still has some fight left. Cost him? I can. These are the moments where you really find out how tough you are. And you can sense the desperation mounting as that last move couldn't finish things. Del Toro has become relentless. Jinder has a storm to weather here. Just pinning the arm down and then. And a carefully measured knee drop. Headed to the top rope. He's got the target acquired. Just a matter of moments. Astonishing tight rope drop kick. Mahal felt that coming. And Mahal is in a disheartening spot. There's incredible impact with every maneuver Cruz delivers. Ah, oh, look at this. Just cranking it out. Cranking the head. Grabbing a hold of the arm. They've got their opponent's arm. Vicious knee drop. This is troublesome for the Scores the victory. Here is your winner, Cruz.